Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Somoza and today we're gonna go from this empty flat drawing to these fabulous trousers. So stick around if you want to learn how to color to the finest detail a pair of jeans for all your favorite fashion illustrations. And we start with a simple step, just choosing the blues that we are going to use. And here, as you can see, I am testing all the different blues that I have. So basically, I'm just trying to see how they all look next to each other and this is a really important exercise before starting any drawing actually. So first of all I start with a very dark one and I'm just gonna pass it, I'm gonna pass the marker along the edges, I'm gonna do a few strokes on the front and I'm gonna follow vertical lines all the way, just leaving some empty spaces between each stroke, just like this. Same thing to color the waistband, just a few touches here and there without coloring everything. And then I change color. I pick up a medium blue and I use it on those empty spaces that I left before. I try to do the same with another dark color, another dark blue, and I, I kind of try to repeat this process back and forth, medium dark, medium dark but trying to keep the dark area on the inside of the legs because that's probably where the shadow will be. <laughs> so now we're going to use a blue fine liner and this is a light blue fine liner to make a hatch effect. So this hatch is going to be in all the surface so you can see I'm starting from the bottom hem outside of the leg and I go diagonally all the way to the top to then change direction and complete this net effect so everywhere is going to have this patch into it so this what it's going to do is going to help us create the feeling of a weft of the fabric especially on the rough fabrics like certain jeans you kind of see these lines all the way like horizontally and vertically but this net feeling help us create the perspective as well so it looks like you have actually legs inside those trousers. Next step we're going to add some seams and we're gonna do that with a white marker. Please try to find some fine tips or small tips, something really delicate. If you don't know where the seams are located you can take a pair of jeans um, to remind yourself where they are. It shouldn't be that hard and you can spread some hatches in the center of the legs and in the crotch area especially because that's where the foldings are located. Well, when we sit down we create those folds on our jeans. You can do that in the knees as well if you want to create an effect of torn jeans. Seams along the hem as well. And you can always blur it. If you use too much white, you can always blur it with your fingers and that will be okay. Next step, we're going to add a little bit of texture and I'm going to use the Inktense Derben Pencil colors I had. So I just add a little bit of water to create like a vibrant effect but also you can use it just dry, you can use just like a crayon or a normal pencil color, like a dark blue color, and this is really important because this is going to give that roughness that typically the jeans fabric has. You can use any of your pencil colors, especially if they are very oily, those are much better than the really hard ones. And then I always like to create the drama effect and here what I did is um, I just went over the top with the white. I used Tipex. You can of course use any source of white. You can use acrylic or paint or ink. And what I did is um, I went over the drawing again and just to make it pop and I repeat the process going through the seams, going to the foldings, going to all those white hatches that I had done before. So I try to bring it to life again so it pops out. I also use the black fine liner which is something that I always leave for the last moment so when I'm finishing the drawing because it defines all the lines, it gives it a bit of precision and it helps you with the shadows, it helps you covering any mistakes that you have done. So it's really good and I recommend that 100% use different 
thicknesses of fine liners, especially if they are black, you just use different thicknesses, it, it will help a lot. Now, if you're interested in making a fashion figure wearing these trousers, you can take a look at this video at the top right corner where I draw and color a pair of jeans from scratch. And if there's anything else you would like to learn, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can practice and have fun with this technique as I always do. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.